Okay, so it's time now to start uh, putting together my battery packs for my uh, electric side-by-side. -side. So I've got the uh, battery holders put together. Um, as I explained before, it's uh, many three-cell holders clipped together. And so I have 8 by 16 for a total 128 cells. So I've got uh, a bunch of cells here that have already been tested. And all of these boxes are also full of cells ready to be put together. Um, now, when you put in, uh, when you build a battery pack, uh, it's important that every group of cells that are in series are have an equivalent capacity. And I'll be doing that by selecting uh, cells that have a very um, close total capacity. Uh, therefore, uh, every group of, of cells should be pretty much equivalent. So let's start putting it together. All right, now that we have all these cells uh, in place and ready to go, I can go ahead and put uh, the other uh, holders on top. Sometimes it's difficult to have them put in here, but here we go. So here's my first pack of cells, 128, ready to be put together. So now I need to solder them in and I'll show you how that's done. All right, now that we have all these cells in uh, the holders, we're ready to begin the soldering process. Now to solder, I use uh, an 80 watt iron. Uh, this is a pretty powerful iron and uh, I find it was very well. What uh, the advantage of having a, a powerful iron is that you don't need to hold it on the cells long, uh, a couple of seconds and they fluck, the uh, solder will, will stick to the cell. That avoids you having to keep the iron uh, on the cell too long for the heat to be drawn into the cell and damage it. For the solder, what I use is just a uh, standard electrical solder. Uh, this is a resin core that we, we don't need to put uh, flux on uh, these, these cells before soldering, so that saves uh, some time. And then uh, to connect the cells to the uh, bus bars, I use our uh, just resistors. Um, the resistor has a small lead, which is uh, easy to solder. And then I just cut off the resistor so I can get the, a bag of these, I think a thousand off of eBay or AliExpress for uh, fairly cheap, I think a couple bucks. Uh, it's worthwhile, it goes well. And I have a pan here running. Um, it's not actually connected to anything. Uh, it just uh, draws the fumes away instead of having it, uh, the smoke will just rise into your face. This will just uh, put, get it away from uh, from your eyes. Um, I don't, uh, my room here is well ventilated so it uh, it doesn't become all full of smoke. So let's uh, begin the soldering. So this stage is finished, the resistors are soldered to one of the cells and now what I can do is cut off using some side cutters, uh, the, this end, cut this resistor off, put it aside and I can now use that on the other side of the each cells. 
So let's uh, start cutting all these off. <laughs> 